Welcome back guys to my next video on SSA's tips and tricks. Um, in this video I'm going to discuss about the process update and process add in SQL Server Management Studio. This is important in SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, normally what you guys will do is you can do it in um, uh, as, um, you, you might you might be doing it very frequently in business intelligence development studio but uh, as far as I know once the database or SSA's uh, cube structure is moved to production and if there is no changes to the existing cube structure like any um, bug fixes or something like that then you will be using SSMS to process the cube whenever, when, whenever the day, new data arrives I mean to say that bits will not be used so frequently to process because it takes more time than processing uh, the same command from SSMS. So people prefer to process the cube or dimensions or whatever it is from SSMS once the deployment is done. And secondly, the people, common people prefer to go and schedule a SQL Server agent's job. That is a different concept altogether and I'm not going to cover anything about that in this particular video. So what I want to show here is um, process add in particularly. You all know the difference between process add and process update and for the people who are not aware of the differences between process add and process update, I'm going to add a video very shortly. So if you want to do a process add of a dimension, you can see the first option is, I mean when the cube structure is newly deployed, I, I just deployed the cube structure into the database, uh, I mean to the SSA server uh, with the name rupage71 and you can see I can't browse anything because it is not yet processed. This is still in unprocessed state. Only the structure I deployed into the server and you can see error loading metadata, no cubes were firm because I have not yet processed it. Okay, so when you, pro when you try to process the dimension for the first time then it won't show you the option called process update. Remember this process update will come into picture only when the dimension is processed. Now the dimension is not processed even a single time that is why there is no option called process update and the first time it's always good to good to go with process. So let me do this uh, so that we can jump into our concepts process update and process add. Now done. The processing of the DIM account dimension is done and here let me set the problem first. Whenever your, manage, your team lead or tech lead ask you to do process add from the diamond, uh, from the SSMS, you will feel little difficulty because when you try to right click and do the same process add of a dimension, you will not find that option as is. Can you see the process add here? But people want to do process add. And as you know the difference, uh, I mean let me give you a small difference between process add and process update. Process update will go into the database and it will check the copy of the database table as well as the cube table which is already processed um, or the data that is present in the cube dimension and it will compare. If both are same then it will not do anything. So let me take a pen to, the, uh, to explain the same. Let's say this is your database. Uh, I picked the wrong color. Let me set another one. Um, let me set red color. Okay, let's say this is your database and this is your cube MSA's cube database. So what, first when you do process full of a dimension all the data will be moved from here to here and the data uh, dim account data is available in both the places but here in the OLAP style. Okay, now when you do process update Let's say this guy has 100 records, uh, uh, read 100 records when he processed first time using the option process word. It will take each and every record and let's say this guy has one or one records. That means a new record added. So what this guy will do is it will compare each and every record here with this one. If there is any record that is updated then the, the changes will be applied in the MOLAP side. And if there is any record which is available here but not here that means the record is deleted in the source so it will delete it in the analysis service too. and if there is any record which is available here but not here that means a new record is added to the data source so it will add the data to the it will add that record to the more app so it will try to brought these two um, the, the data in these two environments into one platform like syncing 
these two should be in sync that's what the process update will do and it will compare each and every record and that is why it takes a lot of time come back to process add and let's say your data source will not have any updates and will not have any deletions it will have only insets that means a new data will be inserted into your data source tables but no deletions and no updations in that case going for process update is little foolish thing because process update kills time so the best option is process incremental in other words process add so how can we do that process add that is what we are going to discuss in this video let me erase the drawings and let me take the pen out and if you want to do the process add you don't have that option you have only process update process index process data and process process full and process default so how you can go for process set so i'm repeating if your data source will have only insets to your to the underlying database tables then the best option is to go with process add which will not take much time to process compared to process update process update is the most slowest or most time taking one for the dimensions now let me show you how to do that this is a tricky part that is why i am adding this video hope you will get benefit with this so normally for process update you can directly click on this and if you click on this the process update will happen so what it will do is it will check with the server uh, database server and it will compare and it will make these two into sync the molap side as well as uh, relational database side now for process uh, process add which you might be asked to do very frequently you can't go and uh, search for it it may be how i mean if you search for an r also you don't find it here so the best way of doing it is using xml scripts again that is why i love xml scripts so first what you need to do is you have to script the process update into a new window here you can see what is the type the type is selected as process update and now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make this process update as process add and if i click on execute what it is going to do is process add and remember this will be always faster than uh, process update and this is uh, and you have to keep the scenario in mind if your underlying database um, is having only insets in other words there should not be any update queries run on the underlying database tables as well as no delete queries so in that case process add and this is how you can do process add from sql server management studio and keep in mind this really helps and one more important point to be highlighted here is this is case sensitive if you try to do process add it will kick you out saying that there is nothing called process add the type is wrong so keep in mind you it is case sensitive and first uh, take the wizard script it to using xml to xml window and then change the process update to process add and execute it and you can store this script somewhere and you can execute it whenever you want so this is how you can and as i showed you in last video you can do it for multiple also but it is little tricky so what you need to do here is you have to go to object browser details select two to three dimensions or five dimensions whatever you want to process select this one and once it is done uh, all the remaining are not processed even a single time that is why it is showing process full so you can script this one to let me do it once the process full of all these guys and i'll show you how to make process add of multiple dimensions at a time okay now this is process full let me go for process again and you can see this is all process update now let me script this guy to um a query window xml query window and you can see everywhere it is process update what you need to do is simply change this process update to process add with a in caps and replace all and it it is done now if you execute it you can see it is executed process add on all the dimensions that you have selected so i hope this video helps you guys and uh, wait for more videos on ssa is tips and tricks you will like it i i should do that have a great day catch you very very soon bye bye guys